So this is a very exciting pile of boxes. All of these are for Cinderella's engine. This is a stator, a few other parts I threw in there. Uh, high output stator so that we can run lights and have the uh, cooling fan actually keep going. The high flow water pump so that it uh, has a better chance of staying cool. The water pump in there was kind of a little bit uh, worn so we just went ahead and got all new stuff. It's Upgraded. Ooh, that looks shiny. Yeah, it's supposed to flow a lot more water. Um, I don't know, never used one before, but it's supposed to be better than stock, so that's what you want when you're running a 450 in a Barbie Jeep. Especially when you're trying to put what this is, what's in this box on there. We're gonna save that one for last. That's the most exciting box. Uh, ooh, this box is from Weissco. And if you know anything about engines, Weissco makes pistons, so that means, oh wait, this might be the valve set. They also sent us, yes, new valves and springs and everything. So that's uh, super awesome. Because we're gonna completely rebuild the engine, top to bottom, make it all nice and fresh, and uh, then try to find a dyno small enough to run it. This is, the Weissco Garage Buddy Complete Engine Rebuild Kit. This is a complete kit with everything you need to rebuild your engine. Um, unless you're, you know, upgrading other stuff like we are, and everything you need. Well, it even comes with the chain. Yeah, it comes with a new cam chain, a whole gasket set, all the seals. We went with the uh, stock sized piston um, because of what's in that box hopefully, instead of going with a uh, high compression piston stock. The day has finally come for Cinderella's engine to get rebuilt. We've got our Garage Buddy engine rebuild kit from Weissco. And we've got our Garage Buddy Casey to help us rebuild it. I've been saying all this time that it was a bad head gasket, but somebody in the comments mentioned that the uh, water pumps can go bad and then suck water into the crankcase, so that's a possibility too. We'll see what it looks like when we tear it apart, but. Definitely a possibility since the uh, oil coming out of the transmission, which is what the water pump is driven off of, um, is kind of milky white and the engine oil is not. Before we put this engine back in Cinderella and start shredding the snow, I want to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Cove Audio. Now these are the Solitude headphones and they are awesome, they're cheap, they're loud, and the battery lasts forever. Let me explain. Cove sent Ethan and I a pair of these months ago for the last ad we did with them and I'm still using them almost every single day. I'm editing in the garage with them because obviously there's a lot of loud sounds going on and the noise canceling works great through the grinders and everything. And sometimes when Ethan wants to get my attention, he has to tap me on the shoulder, they're so good. And even though I use them so often, I still only charge them like once every other week. It's insane. And they're just crazy cheap. I have these things all the way turned up right now and you probably can't hear it at all because the seals are so good. But when I flip them off, you'll be able to hear it. And that kind of shows you how good the noise canceling really is. So if you get these headphones using our link in the description, you'll get 70% off by using code GH70. 
So go check those out. You're gonna dig them. Now let's get back to getting this engine in Cindy so we can play in all this beautiful snow. Well, we've got ourselves a giant pile of 450 parts. Fortunately enough, uh, a lot of stuff actually looks like is in pretty good shape yet, so that's a good sign. Yeah, uh, the only, we haven't really found anything majorly screwed up in there. Um, the water pump was definitely messed up. There's the water pump impeller. It's a little bit crunchy and missing a chunk there, so that's messed up. The uh, bearing for that was a little bit sloppy too, so it's a good thing we're replacing all that. up just about time to put some of the shiny new parts in Ooh, whatever that means yeah <laughs> you means whatever Edwin wants it to mean yes <laughs> it's a question a statement <laughs> I was almost together with this thing, but I pulled the valve seals off to uh, replace them. There's little rubber seals to keep the oil from going through the valve stem. And uh, we found one of them was broken. And they had put it together that way, whoever had this part last. So um, we decided- It wasn't me. Yeah, it wasn't It wasn't any of us. <laughs> I, mean, I did have it apart, but I didn't have it that far apart. <laughs> yeah, so um, anyways, it's been run like that ever since uh, Ethan and Edwin have bought this. So um, probably, I'm surprised it didn't smoke more than it did. It must have not been leaking that bad. And it was working, but not ideal though. So we ended up getting another head here. And this one looks amazing. is fully rebuilt thanks to the Wiseco Garage Buddy Rebuild Kit and we just got to tune up a few things here and then we we're gonna rip through the snow. We just gotta straighten out this spindle a little bit, mm -hmm. get in some coolant, and we're ready to rock. I made massive improvements to the steering. I don't know if you guys ever noticed how much slop it had in it but now it has none. Um, down here underneath there were some just like little plastic bushings that I'd made when we originally built it not understanding how awesome it was gonna be. So I replaced those with a solid bearing and bearing housing that's bolted straight to the frame. When we had the engine apart, we also put in a lighting stator. So it now puts out enough electricity to charge the battery and to run the cooling fan and eventually lights. Should I just throw the paddle tires on? Yes, we should <laughs> absolutely throw the paddle tires on. <laughs>
time to build a jump, isn't it? I think so. out the sleds just go back and forth on the run-in until all that's packed in and then it's time to jump this thing <laughs> The jump held out strong. Yeah. <laughs> it just ejected you into the fluff. Also with the jump a little bit like evened out, now I'll hit it the way it wants to, you know, it might yeah. launch a little straighter. Maybe we should make it a little less steep. Oh, it's already a lot less steep. <laughs> <laughs> so from the angle I was standing, you couldn't really see this, but the Jeep landed right there and your body landed way over there. Yeah. It was like a five foot ejection. It was a very soft landing. Fortunately, <laughs> couldn't ask for better. I'll try to uh, go a little faster so that whatever happens, I don't land in the same hole. Mm. And then also I'm gonna try to, I'll give it a little gas at the last bit. So it'll, that'll help kick me back instead of forward, but also the jump being less steep should make a big difference. That was perfect, look how far you landed. Nice. You could have jumped an entire Cinderella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> nice. I went for the uh, throttle in the air too. It seemed to actually straighten it out a good bit. Yeah, for sure. Now we, uh, <laughs> now we need to make this thing actually work in the snow. Is it snow track time? What? Tracks? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you jumped like 10 feet. Something like that, pretty close. Yeah, that's awesome. Now we're gonna whip around the FPV drone and see if we get lucky. This is definitely the coldest that we've ever flown, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> 